Well there, welcome back to Middle Gear Solid 3. Uh, damn, I could really do with some suppressors here. Uh, also, want to grab a bit of food. Oops, oh, sorry about that, Eva. Uh, so let's see what we have. We have a snake there. suppressors here especially for the X this thing uh, yeah I've rearranged my inventory a bit but I think I need to rearrange it again get rid of that because it doesn't have a suppressor on it and bring out the book right this part also thermal goggles I forgot about that This part can be really annoying because it's basically an escort mission. And you know, we all love escort missions. Come on, Eva. Come on. And because Eva's injured, look at that. Look how quickly our stamina is running out. You coming, Eva? Where is she? Come on, get over here. Yeah, this part is just a pain in the ass. Do oh, I can't. That was going to happen. We're going to have a load of soldiers following us, which, you know, will be fun. Okay, so before I got interrupted, uh, where's the way we come from? Let's check the map a minute. Yeah, so... Where's the smoke grenades? I got blown up by my own frickin' claymore. That, that was, that was bloody smart, wasn't it?
mana event man? Alright, we'll leave another Claymore here. Come on, Eva. Wait, how the hell did he get past my... Eva, have a snake. Can I have seconds? This part is a frickin' pain. Good thing about this is I think Eva has infinite ammo, so... I mean, you can, you can actually stealth through this section, you know, with the no kills, no alerts. I've done it before, but it just takes way too damn long. Hurry up. Right. Leave a claymore there. Wait, what the fuck? How did he even get hit by that? Yeah, once we get to the next screen though, we should be fine. Uh, gunshot, okay. What are you doing? It's the enemy. Keys out of ammo now. Come on. Hurry 
Hurry up, Eva. Get across this bridge, I'll give you something to eat. Hang on. Ah! Oh, what the fuck happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? Okay. Try this again. Huh? Somebody there. Moving, come on, Eva. So tired. I know, but we're. I think I've gone the wrong way this time. I know, I know, give me a sec. Here you go. Can I have seconds? Okay, I think I'm doing better this time with this approach. Come on Eva, hurry up. No, I haven't. I thought I'd gone around in a big circle there, but no, no, I haven't. X is where we're supposed to go, so I'm I am I am going in the wrong direction. Okay. Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Eva should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Okay. There go. Okay, that went a lot smoother the second time. Okay, hang on a minute, Eva. No, that was a part. Okay. I'm right here, hang on. What what is what are you? What's Eva? Where are you? Oh there you are. Right, here you go, have a have a 
Have another reticulated python. Oh, well, not bad at all. Might as well grab that bird. You need to have that. Yeah, there was one that walked off, but I don't know where he went. Come on. Right, either you wait right here, I'll go to the head. Yeah, what? I, oh, you meant that guy? Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. I had him. Right, the guy down there. Is there the guy to the left there? Yeah. Wait, that guy right here? How did he not see me? Alright, come on, Eva. Where'd you go? I was scouting ahead, come on. the map. How far are we away from the exit? Not that far, just across the other side. I'm not seeing any other guys here. Wait! How the hell did he not see me? Anybody else? Unless that's someone over there. No, it's a plant. Okay. Funny, but so where the hell are you? You're over there. Come on, move it. I should need to feed Eva again. Jeez. Oh! Yeah, the exit's right there in front of us, so we should be able to make it to it. I know, but we're right here, Eva. We're right here, so we should be okay. We should be okay to make it. Come on. Just a little bit further. I'm so hungry. Just a little bit further. And we're done! Well, that section was actually a lot less painful than I thought it was going to be. I mean, aside from the first time, but yeah. Put the controller down because we're about to get a 
A long sentimacy. Come on, Snake. We made it. We made it. We made it. Is that? Thought I'd be Over there. It's the boss, isn't it? I'll go get the wig ready to take off. Yeah, give it a good comb in. Right. Make sure it's not tangled. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Promise me! Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Yeah, I don't think it's ever made clear, but she actually waiting used the other Davy Crockett to destroy Grosnigrad. At least I think, I think that's what happened. Boss, Again, it's not actually made clear. Why are you doing this? Why? To make the world one again. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Yesterday's ally becomes today's opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. So then what is an enemy? Is there such a thing as an absolute timeless enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. And with the Colonel's money, Kay. I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. I may no longer be able to bear children, but I still have a family. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert, participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish, covered in snow, white as snow. 
and snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It oh, that's a crater, that's no snow. Light. Snake, you were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. You and I are alike. We're both slowly oh. being eaten away by the... I don't know why the cutscene skipped there. I just... <laughs> We'll never have the Just a slight to die skip. peacefully of old age. I probably never even we noticed have that. No but... Tomorrow. but we can still have hope for the future. In 1960, I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Aboard Sputnik! <laughs> Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. The government wanted human data so they secretly decided to send a human being into space. I was the one they chose. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays, and whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the U.S. and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on their space programs and the missile race, only to arrive at the same conclusion. In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body called Earth. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. But reality continued to betray me. Like communism, capitalism. In what else says that? In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to Bahia de Cochinos. It was part of a CIA-sponsored invasion, under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-kneed president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for, by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface. Was that Kennedy in '61? Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. I thought Kennedy was but elected. But one of us had to die. No, Kennedy died in '62. I was left with no it? choice. Yeah, so it would be Kennedy. The 61. sorrow gave his life for me. There is no. Anyway, sorry, I'm us. blathering. Jeez, one must live. Things. This one is an important die. plot point. You have to listen to this. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Early in the 20th century, the true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the Wiseman's Committee. The secret uh, pact they formed there marked the beginning of the philosophers. Now you're familiar with Mel Gear, you know what the Wiseman's Committee is. 
After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By Kinda. consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. Yeah, but I kind of get what you're it saying, but only because I played all the games, so I get how this relates to the others. He was one of them. You see, I am the last remaining child. Yeah, I'll talk about the, how this relates to the other games as we play, because this is partly the reason the why truth, I'm doing them in my uh, father was killed chronological the order instead of order of release. Organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. Okay, here's a revelation I'm going to have to talk about. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V-2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. Okay. I now I have to talk about this. If you call Eva repeatedly in the caves after you there fight the os or the ocelot, after you fight ocelot nothing for the first time, she'll tell you about his no backstory. Apparently, ocelot is the son of a legendary hero, and his mother him. gave birth in the battle f in Slaving the middle of a battlefield. The medicine wasn't that great, so when they throwed her up, she had a scar left, that looked like a snake. Eh? Eh? I've never talked yes. to myself before. I mean, it, you kind of need to put it together, but yes. Thanks for listening to the me. The boss is Ocelot's mother. I know I've kind of made jokes about that earlier. That she, but yeah, and I said it was kind of a spoiler, but. Commence the operation. I don't, the thing is, I don't think Ocelot ever finds I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life, by your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on well, the fight. I think there will be we victory and defeat. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one Maybe who even become the bigger boss than boss. Will face an existence a, of a large boss battle. or, you know, something like that. I'll give you ten minutes. In ten minutes, MiGs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than ten minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest ten minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Face me. Okay, here we go. Final boss of the game. Let's see what you're made of. And, uh... Ow. Ah. Yeah, I screwed up there. Move or you're dead. Okay, yeah, I screwed that up, but the the basic way to do this is to counter our throws, which is pretty easy to do. And uh 
Also something else. He ushers off. Where are you? Okay, the thing, there's also these snakes crawling in the grass. <laughs> I found ah! you. Damn it. Brace yourself. Okay, let's see if ah! I can... Oh damn it, I've never actually seen her doing that before. Circle with big grunts. Brace yourself. There we go. Excellent. And that is actually the easiest way to beat the boss. So, uh, yeah, the video's run a little long. I just want to show that before we ended the video. In the next part, we'll continue the boss. Continue the boss. Continue to fight the boss, beat her, and finish the game. So, hopefully, yeah, hopefully we'll do that in the next part. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.